My name is Jörg Lev. I work as a technical product manager for VMware's cloud provider software business unit. And today I want to show you the different strategies and options that we have to extend VMware vCloud Director with vRealize Orchestrator. vCloud Director is VMware's solution for service providers to offer multi-tenant infrastructure as a service offerings based on a vSphere platform. Within vCloud Director, there is a strict separation between provider tasks and tenant tasks and a strict multi-tenancy between the different organizations. We realize Orchestrator, on the other hand, is VMware's workflow engine that allows vSphere administrators and um, service providers to build workflows to automate all sorts of um, tasks in a data center. Now, with vRealize Orchestrator, it is possible to integrate with vCloud Director to automate certain tasks. So for a provider task, for example, it is possible to create some workflows that automate the onboarding of new tenants. But you also can use the integrations that Orchestrator has with all these different um, other endpoints and third-party systems to offer additional services to your tenants. In this session, we will see um, the different mechanics on how vCloud Director and vRealize Orchestrator can work together. So, one possible integration scenario is to use the blocking tasks and notifications of vCloud Director to call out to Orchestrator workflows. In this case, we can use an AMQP broker and the notifications framework of vCloud Director. So in vCloud Director, is it, pos is it possible to configure VCD to send out AMQP messages to a service broker whenever a task is happening in vCloud Director, like a tenant deploys a new VM or a new VM. And then um, the service broker, the AMQP broker, can um, send this me message to the proper queue. Now, in VRLS Orchestrator, we do have plugins for vCloud Director, AMQP, vCenter, and a lot of different other endpoints that allow you to build workflows to integrate with these systems. Now, for the blocking tasks or notifications, it is possible um, to have the AMQP plugin of vRealize Orchestrator listen to queues in the service broker and then use so-called triggers or policies to start a vRealize Orchestrator workflow. based on an incoming message from AMQP. Now, the workflow then can use the plugin to either talk back to vCloud Director or to use all the power of the vCenter APIs to access the virtual machines or the configuration of virtual machines in vCenter to extend some additional tasks. Now, in Orchestrator, we do have a lot of different other plugins um, for third-party systems or generic ones like for REST, for SSH, for PowerShell, for SQL databases, and so on and so on, which allow you to build workflows to integrate with all these different systems. So it is possible, for example, to create a workflow that is being called by a notification in vCloud Director to use the REST plugin and then have the workflow connect to an external configuration management database that you have in your environment. Or, for example, an IPAM system that you want to integrate with. Or, for example, a DNS server that you want to register a newly deployed virtual machine or vApp into while it is being deployed. Now, the workflow then can also, um, again, use the AMQP plugin to send responses back to the AMQP broker and to vCloud Director. 
That is the first integration scenario, to use blocking tasks and notifications of vCloud Director to kick off orchestrator workflows as part of tasks and events that happen in vCloud Director. Another scenario where you can use vRealize orchestrator workflows is just to use uh, the vCloud Director plugin to automate tasks in vCloud Director. For that, um, you can just build workflows or use the library workflows that come with the different plugins to automate all sorts of tasks in vCloud Director. Now, the vCloud Director plugin covers the complete API of vCloud Director, so that allows you to create workflows to literally automate anything that you can do in vCloud Director. Technically, this works that in a way that vCloud Director makes REST calls to the vCloud Director API, either on a provider level or on a tenant level, depending on your configuration of the plugin. The vCloud Director plugin itself allows you or makes it easier to use this um, REST API because it wraps and um, bundles all the REST calls into objects that can be used within the different workflows. The plugins in Orchestrator also provide you the so-called inventory in VRO, which is a representation of all these different endpoints that the plugin connect to. So for example, you have your different vCenter servers that represent the vCenter servers that are used in vCloud Director. You have VCD plugins and you have your different REST host objects for all the other endpoints that are being called by the REST plugin, for example. Same would be if you have a generic SQL database, for example, then this one also would go and be presented in the inventory tab of Realize Orchestrator. Now, that second scenario helps you as a provider to streamline your operations and to be much more efficient because tasks that you typically would do manually as an administrator in vCloud Director, you now can automate with Orchestrator and then either um, schedule or um, run manually from Orchestrator. Within Orchestrator, the workflow engine also allows you to provide some very uh, powerful exception handling so that you can build workflows that are very reliable and um, yeah, error-proof. Now, the third scenario where you can use Orchestrator in a vCloud Director context is to publish workflows of your Orchestrator server into the service catalog. This is a very powerful integration because this allows you to build workflows and then offer these workflows as additional services in the vCloud Director UI so that your tenant users can request the service items through the vCloud Director UI without even knowing that in background orchestrator workflows are being called to fulfill these services. Now, for that, um, again, the power of all these different integrations you have with Orchestrator come in because you can quite easily build workflows, for example, to call out to a backup or a monitoring system, let's say to create a new backup job, and then you can offer that workflow and publish it into the service catalog. And with that, you can quite easily and without a lot of development effort offer some additional backup services for you, again, to monetize the uh, functionality. vCloud Director offers that um, based on, uh, on a per tenant base. So all the library or the workflows that you build in Orchestrator or use the library workflows that come with the plugin, you can either publish to the provider UI or on a per tenant base and to the tenant UI. Now, this third integration to offer Orchestrator workflows as service items or service catalog items in vCloud Director brings in the combination of all these different plugins and all these different endpoints that you can um, automate using Orchestrator and offer that as services that you can monetize in vCloud Director. 
So we can see with blocking tasks and notifications, the automation of vCloud Director tasks through the workflows, and additional service workflows that you offer as service catalog items, the combination between vCloud Director and Orchestrator is very powerful and allow you to extend vCloud Director for a lot of more functionality than just the out-of-the-box infrastructure as a service offerings. Thank you very much.